American Medical Systems presents Elevate Anterior and Apical Prolapse Repair System. Anterior wall incisions. Inject a local anesthetic vasoactive solution, such as lidocaine with epinephrine. Perform a small midline incision on the anterior wall starting from the bladder neck. Anterior wall dissection. Dissect underneath the pubocervical fascia utilizing a full thickness dissection technique up to the level of the apex. Utilize blunt dissection to maintain dissection in the same plane. Dissect toward ischial spine and palpate with index finger bilaterally. Clearing the sacrospinous ligament. Sweep medially, approximately 2 centimeters from the ischial spine along the sacrospinous ligament. Perform technique for both patient left and right sides. Load the fixation tip of the mesh onto the anterior needle such that the tip is inserted through the open slot. To insert the anterior fixation tip, Aim the needle tip towards the obturator foramen while holding the needle curve against your index finger. The needle should be inserted with the white line directly lateral to the bladder neck, which will locate the placement about 2 cm proximal to the medial border of the descending pubic ramus. Continue to advance the needle and fixation tip till the obturator internus muscle is penetrated and the center marking of the mesh is aligned with the vaginal incision. This technique should be performed for both patient's sides. Affix the center of the mesh to the bladder neck with sutures. Trim the apical graft to the desired length and according to the patient's individual anatomy. Place sutures at the apex and leaving the ends for later attachment to the graft. To load the apical fixation tips, insert the needle into the self-fixating tip and then load the needle into the curved plastic sheath through the end with the cutout feature. Slide the sheath down until a click is heard. When loading the fixating tip, make sure it mates to the needle tip so that the tines are always in a vertical orientation. To position the apical needle, locate the sacrospinous ligament by palpation. While keeping palpating finger on the ligament, guide the tip of the loaded needle and sheath alongside and lateral to the finger towards the sacrospinous ligament. To insert the self-fixation tips, place the tip of the sheath at the base of the palpating finger so that it is perpendicular and on the caudal side of the sacrospinous ligament two to three centimeters from the ischial spine. Press the release mechanism on the handle with your index finger and while keeping it pressed, drive the needle and self-fixating tip into the ligament. Remove the needle and sheath by gently pulling back until it disengages from the tip. Repeat the insertion on the patient's opposite side. To slide the graft over the apical arms, locate the loose eyelets on the graft and slide each over the fixating arm through the top side of the graft. At the same time, feed the previously placed sutures through the graft and tie in place. To continue positioning the graft, insert each end of the fixating arms through the tip of the adjustment tool. You may slide the adjustment tool down towards the pelvic cavity in short increments on each patient's side until the desired position is obtained. Once the adjustment of the graft is final, attach the female end of the eyelet applicator at least 2 centimeters onto the fixating arm. Repeat this technique for both fixating arms. Proceed to slide the locking eyelets down the fixating arm and into the cavity until it reaches the graft. Palpate to verify that the locking eyelets rest upon the surface of the loose eyelets. 
To trim the fixating arms, be sure to cut a length at least one centimeter, extending past the locking eyelid. Anterior Wall Management Minimize trimming of excess vaginal mucosa. Close vaginal incision with your choice of suture. Insert vaginal packing. 